Ну, привет. Ну что ж, проходим далее. Это и есть тело, да, судя по всему. Бля, я застрял. О, Джонатан, я не могу поверить мои глаза. Пуа Уоман, бутчер бы какой-нибудь скал. Так. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scowl, I brought him here. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. Так. Have you embraced this woman, like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life, unless they ask. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? A hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Так, можно узнать. What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. Так. Вот почему она... Я же не ставил эту хуйню здесь. Так. Good evening, Dr. Jones. <laughs> Dr. Reed. Uh, Do you need any medicine? Yes. I have no... I appreciate... Can you tell me anything about the recent commotion in the hospital? 
It's a tragedy, pure and simple. The hospital is meant to be a safe haven to all. We failed the people who trusted us with their care. Do you think I should not have brought Mr. Hampton back here? It's not your fault. You rescued that poor soul. It was the Christian thing to do. But we should have noticed his instability. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Так, а тут кого тут еще головная боль то? Угу. Еще дух. Так. Вот у тебя. Good evening, Miss Howard. I need blood, Doctor. Warm. Do you require? My condition. На теле карта. Until the day science... Thank you, Doctor. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night, Dr. Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see or hear anything? I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. I'll leave you, Miss... Да потому что ты не вампирша, дура, ты тупая, блин. Так, и у тебя вроде как там главные доводы, да? Да. Да. Can you tell me anything about the recent come up? I'm sure it was not your fault, Dr. Reed. My fault? What? Oh, nothing. It's just... I heard it was you who brought them... Иди нахуй. Goodbye. Так, где там морг? Здесь у нас морг. Так, просто мне интересно, где эта старушка находится. It's locked. Блин, пузо чешется. Так, а что еще выше?
Серьезно. нам поломали Да блять, вот это вот мне вообще не нравится. Он просто прыгает, а я такой ему удар делаю. По идее, магр... моя должна взять, а не его. Типа, получается бред какой-то. Нет и тут старушки на воде. Да, это лок. Так вот. нет ни хера в морге блять старушка нету тут в морге старушки Так, короче, бежим все в порт, в порт прям срочно.
блин, нету этой одной. Все, это по колье. А, не, не, не. Даже разобрать нечего. It seems the Pre were now redoubling their patrols in the district. I must be more careful. Fear no evil. We do the Lord's work here. You bought it to. за звуки такие так он тех я обошел пошли не в жопу слишком их много что-то Бал, слышь, чё? вы нахуй Здесь жесть какая-то Да вот, не, ну серьезно. Как это, честно, заебывает. Чё такие вот...
пиздос это какой-то. А Никита вообще не, не, в еб... не в ебе нахуевший. Пиздец. И какой здесь стелс вообще может быть? Они просто толпой захуяривать и все. еще темно кастелять а где они там кстати чего-то их там не видно да действительно на блять Ваша, блядь, пиздец какой-то. Какие они, сука, вообще. Ты пробьешь их еще. жизни хоть пополняются сами так ну вроде как я верно иду Да ебаный тебя в рот. Ну, действительно. О, блядь, это вот... Вредный, блядь, вечно что-то делает, что-то, блин, косячит мне. То провода грызет. Вообще прям. Невыносимое создание. Так, а вот и порт. Сюда мы не пройдем, да? Okay. 
you again. What do you want? Uh, do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad sight. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Interesting. If she sells the clothes, she's going to be crazy, then... Like, uh, uh, uh. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the gravediggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Так. Для человека, чтобы отомстить. <coughs> Блять, извиняюсь. Так. Она что там? Как я их могу это? Бля, гипноз 5. А, я не могу их, у меня гипноза типа не хватает. You still use your husband's name, Edwina. Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. Are you aware of what happened to him? Yes. I'm sure he fought till the end and looked deaf in the eyes. The boys will mourn him. Except one of them, maybe. Всем кроме одного. Booth Digby looks at you with love-struck eyes. Tell me, Edwina, is the feeling mutual? You have no idea how refreshing it can be for a woman to receive all the pleasure she needs. For once. Hmm. I'll take your word for it. What is it, Doctor? A woman's not supposed to talk about these things. I believe you manipulated Booth Digby to get everything you wanted from him. 
both inside and outside the bedroom. The poor bastard is good to me, if you must know. He makes me feel good. And that's the first. So you're just like any other couple, after all, are you not? Yeah, we're so ordinary that I'd put a bullet in his head if he ever cheated on me. Так. Поздравляю, будто в неверность. Ух ты, блядь. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard, but he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened, but you executed him anyway? No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory, and this is our law. And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. Ah. Uh -huh. no, тебе надо. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Знаешь, что уже забавно бы. Я колечко именно для тебя. Давай. Продим одно. Да. А ей похуй ты посмотри. Good evening, Goodbye, man. Так, тебе грозит пизда. Я это тебе отрежу. Так. Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done round here. No one gives a shit. Don't you see it's an endless spiral? One day, it will be you who will be stabbed. Or shot. Or worse. That's what my sweet Edwina always says, that one day I'll get it too. But she says it with the most beautiful smile, my Edwina. Do you know Edwina suspects you to be unfaithful? Edwina's the one who asked to be called Mrs. Cox, even though Clay hadn't touched her for such a long time. You have not answered my question. She's a passionate woman. I've no doubt she'll shoot me down if I ever betray her, but that's not going to happen. I love her as she is. Goodbye, Mr. Dick. Dog's fault, they say. Then the gangs, the epidemics. Everything. Good evening, Miss. Hello again. Tag. Goodbye, man. And uh... mark my words. These murders are the work of a vampire. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. Tag. Inebriation aside, do you... Yes, I feel sicker than usual, Nick. Take this, then. And perhaps you could... Hey, Doc, you don't really want me to stop the only remedy I can afford. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me, then? About the sad saint. I'll try asking Tom what's about him. What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? 
I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And then I drink some more. Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. You sound very sad, sir. That's because I am, Doc. Don't you work at all? I'd love to, but I don't have the time. Didn't I tell you? Drink in the morning and at noon. I'll drink at night. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. Why are you so cynical? Cynicism is the polite way to express despair, Doctor. No reason at all to rejoice, then. Life is hopeless, and then we die? Is that it? Let me tell you a story. All right. Go on. A few years ago, when I believed a resolute man could change things around here for good, a tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. A bomb that exploded and killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts. Fire. Broken window of the shoe shop. The tall street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my homage to the dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you ever find the place, just... Leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is, I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Так, еще одно у нас расследование. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Так, а что же я не поставил? Так, раз у нас здесь расследование, давай смотреть где это. А. Типа в самом низу? Интересно. А вы это где? Чё тут? Тоже в самом низу. То есть, ладно. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Thornton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. <sighs> I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find him, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Sure, Tom. Just a young 
на силу. Ебать. Жесть прям вообще. В этой игре столько жести. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. John. Вот. Машикабот. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewen? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> so you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Were you ever tempted to join the guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. Dog. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Да, он дурак вообще. Эти магичков. Где их развешивать? Я, блядь, не ставил эти хуёвины. О, понятно. Ну, Кто-нибудь из них это... Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. And mine in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle, then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Jack. Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. 
Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. Так, что она говорит? Сабрин считает, что порт это опасный район, и ей здесь неуютно. Так. So you and your friends all feel in danger? No exceptions? Tom's the only exception I've come across until now. But he's... He's not like everybody else. This place Hop seems... Me, how shall I put it? Very colourful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. At least it's not happened yet. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the color of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course, Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. There's got to be something can be done to get out of this bullshit. Good evening, evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Doc. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Так вот как раз. You are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Or something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Damn it. 
deck. Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl, but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. Так, это Лондон. Личный вопрос. Нету. Ладно. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? Uh... I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Так он, наверное, их там всех сожрал. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. That would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Так, что он оставил в католическом приюте, когда он был еще младенцем? The important thing is I find him, quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Да, goodbye, Mr. Watts. Там, наверное, пизда, мясо сплошное везде валяется. Так, сколько здесь людей? Ебать, сколько здесь еще людей. Так, а мне сюда. Правильно? А в этом районе только... Угу. Еще вниз. Ну, вниз... Красное это вроде бы здание. Так, а если ну-ка сюда? Туда вот. Ага, ты посмотри. Все правильно. Так, расследование. А -а -а. Так, а этого где? Сейчас посмотрим. Ты не стал хуйню. Так, это здесь. Это здесь. Это тоже здесь. Так, все отлично. Значит, начнем с этого. Так, я иду правильно.
Так. Тра -та так Господи, сколько здесь этих упырей. А тебе в это нахуй пойти. Да что вы такие вот суки? Да прям, мне это прям напрягает. Знаешь, что еще буду делать? Так, найти, где взорвалась бомба, цветы положить. А? Да иди ты нахуй. Господи, как они мне, блядь, накаляют. Зачесалась. Так, это убежище, да? Конечно, это убежище. Эй, 
It's locked, all right. Или нет, это не убежище. Нет, не убежище. Yes. The place has changed since the explosion, but it was definitely here. I should find some way to pay my respects. А где мне цветы сейчас, блядь, найти? Серьезно, там, блядь, где церковь? Туда мне пиздовать, чтобы взять цветы и потом... Да это не, не может быть... Не, вот есть, слава богу. May all who suffered from this tragedy find... All rest in peace. Fuck, Так, это мы сделали. Теперь здесь вот это еще было. Правильно, правильно. Вообще на другой стороне. Сейчас войдем. газом каким-то травит. Come on! 
ты сука такая. Так, теперь никуда. Наверх, сюда, да? Ну, кушайте. This place. Rain may have washed away the blood, but not the memory. My poor Mary. Так. Так. This is my watch. Damn grave robbers. Я что, часы верну? Ага. Теперь все, мне может теперь возвращаться. Я тут вроде как выполнил все, что было. Этот у нас где получается? Там, да. И вот этот у нас тут. Угу. Нет, сейчас вот эту дурочку. Так, ну здесь много всякого добра собираю. Так, что сюда я пройду, да? Господи. Как мне дороги. Это вот, который здесь были. Ну, круто, я говорю, так, придется крыс пахать. 
of blood. Так, комната отдыха, да? Так, 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 это нам пока не надо, не надо. Масло, пружинки. Наконец-то топор третьего уровня. Так, носимый урон. И носимый урон. Ура, блядь. Так, что тут у нас из лекарств то сделать не могу ладно сначала я вернусь блин сейчас долго не бежать да нет телепортации и застрял Смотри, все равно там какая-то... А? а ч ⁇ он то порт туда стал? Неизвестный чувак. Ты кто? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being polite. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you some questions, if I may. Don't like questions or doctors. And the name is Seymour Fishburn, if you must know. Any chance you can help me find Sean Hampton? The sad saint. Why would you talk to that cunt? Actually, that's confidential. Really? Well, go ask someone else then. I'm sure Tom Watts will gladly answer you. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Are you thinking about someone in particular? No. Nope. Hate them all. Especially these petty, whining little shitbag beggars. Is there no one who deserves your leniency, then? Well, Tom from our local is somewhat of a decent bloke. At least, unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. What's your <sighs> occupation? I take care of my mum. It's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. 
Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just wanted to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated like. God knows she Pretty deserves hard. it. I sure did the word. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburne. Где жрели твоей матери, ты, блядь? Тупое создание. Так кто эти точки ставит? Я их вообще, блядь, не убирал. Ну, оно где-то здесь. Все, мы отнесем эти задания. Делаю, потому что я уже просто уже спина болит. Сидеть, блять, сука. Так. А, раз уж ты здесь. I managed to reach the mass grave in Southwark. It was not pleasant. Spare me the details, Dr. Reed. All I want to know is what happened to those bastards who owed me money. I'm afraid those bastards, as you call them, are in the mass grave. Dead? Shit. That money would have been useful. Well, I'll tell my boys to avoid the place if it's that dangerous. Yes. Everybody should avoid that place until further notice. Okay then, Doctor. It looks like you deserve your reward after all. The wet boot boys thank you for your help. Tell me your feelings about Booth's belief in monsters, Edwina. It makes him look weak in front of the boys. That's my feeling about it. But ghosts don't scare me. You don't believe he really saw something then? I don't care what he saw or not. All I know is that a real man keeps his fears to himself if he wants to be obeyed. Uh huh. Ah, ты посмотри, я все у нее это, да? Но, блять, а хули толку? Goodbye, Miss Cox. Не хватает уровня этого гипноза. What do you want? Чтобы ее I know you Разъебаш. believe monsters are real, Booth. They are. I know, I saw one, but no one believes me. Tell me what you saw. It was a few years ago. Clay Cox was still the boss then. He'd sent me to the shipyard to find out who was stealing tools and ropes at night. Go on. First, I thought it was an old lady with a limp. It looked frail and crooked. Then I saw it grab a bloody beam and lift it like it was a stick. I shouted. It looked straight at me. Do you know what it was? It was all eyes and long teeth, but I, I, could, I couldn't see its face. I shot at it when it moved towards me and I hit it. And then it jumped and vanished in the shadows. You could have imagined all that. These docks can be so gloomy at night. With the fog and the wind and the boats creaking. No, Doctor. That night I saw the fucking sewer dock for real. It's not a beast like the stories say. It's the ghost of an old woman. Bullets can't stop him. No one believes me. Are your friends mocking you? Even if Weena told me once to never speak about it, but I know what I saw. And it wasn't a human. Not human at all. Так. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Good evening, Mr. Delaney. What? Ah, oh, you're a doctor. 
Yeah, nice of you. I found the location of the explosion, Mr. Delaney. I placed a flower for you where it happened, just as you asked. Really? That's, that's so kind. I never thought someone would... Well, thank you, Doctor. It's nothing, really. And I'm sorry for your loss. What? No, I, I didn't know them. No car was supposed to park there that day. Stupid bastard, why did he park there? You're the man who hit that bomb. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. Yeah, who yeah. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young, like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really change. And to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Sounds like you were an idealist, which is honorable. No, sir. Так, no, no, no. I was an anarchist and I believe that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. Я не слежу за временем, я просто сижу и игру люлю. Да, я сам был убежден, где он так... Ага, юности. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. I sense your guilt, Dyson. Why is that? Did you not think violence was an acceptable political tool? I still believe our fight was just. By killing an innocent couple who were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. No way. That bomb also killed you that day, don't you see? You just die a slower death, drink by drink. I know. Maybe I deserve judgment. Until that day, I'll just be Dyson the drunk, not Dyson the murderer. I want you to remember the bomb, Dyson. Tell me about it. No. I don't... I don't want to remember it. Why use a bomb? What were you trying to destroy? The Dawson and Dawson ammunition factory. A symbol of violence against the people. My group wanted to destroy it to send a message. The victims. They were not the target then. I spent so much time figuring out the perfect moment. I used a short fuse. No car had ever parked there. They all died. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a tool to change the world, unlike my comrades. Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean. No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit I like your idea of peaceful change. I like it a lot. Is there any... That's it. Okay, sir. Goodbye. Так. И того смотри. В этом районе, значит, надо матери его это найти. А жерельки? Так где он порасрал-то? Это ж капец вот эта беготня.
где может быть это ожерелье какой-то заворот нет заворот не надо это хорошо наверное Нет, я уже выбежал. Тоже не там. что не Так. Еще один. Hello, boy. Uh, hello. Good evening. Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. No. It's just that. People prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. Так. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the dock, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dogs. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough? No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. This city has abandoned so many of its children. It's tragic. Well, I'm known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. Ебать, тут еще целых шесть чуваков. So long, Rufus. Be careful, take care. To every night a darkness, and every dawn another death. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? 
I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, Doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. The disease takes away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburne. Stella Fishburne. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? А что если ожерелье где-то находится также в здании? Это ж полный пиздец. So you have questions about the flu then? Yes, among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers coming in the house. Так. The orphan that regards you as a mother, please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Those people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know, but it's most likely linked to the gangs, if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you could just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. Uh, May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my seamer was just a lad. Poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. How do you pay the rent then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always easy, but we get by all right. Что-то вообще не открывается ничего за нее. I'm trying to locate Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where he could be? You talking about the one everyone calls the sad saint? The man who takes care of the homeless? The very same, Miss Fishman. I'm sorry. I don't know where his shelter is. But if you ask around, I'm sure you'll get your answer. Нет вообще ничего. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Take care of yourself. Ох уж. Ладно, на этом все. И так уже долго бегаю, поэтому все. Давай, счастливо.